Welcome to Joey's Tech. This is Joey and in this video we are going to solve a problem that I have taken from lead code. The problem is FizzBuzz which we are going to solve using Java. Without further ado, let's take a look at its problem statement. But before that, if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed it yet, then do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because that way you won't miss out on these programming tutorial videos I create for you. You are given an integer n. For this question, we are going to assume that n is 5. You need to return a string array like below. Yes, there are certain conditions involved as a result of which this array has been generated. Let's take a look at them. So the first condition is if any index i of the array is divisible by both 3 and 5, then we assign the cell at index i the string fizzbuzz. The second condition is if any index i of the array is divisible only by 3, then we assign the cell at index i the string fizz. Now similarly, the third condition is if any index i of the array is divisible only by 5, then we assign the cell at index i the string buzz. And finally, if any index i of the array doesn't meet any of the above three conditions, then we simply assign the value of i to the cell at index i. And you have to remember that i here starts from 1, which means the first index of the array is going to be 1 and not 0. Take a look over here. The index of this cell is 1. 1 is neither divisible by 3 and 5, nor by 3 only. 1 is also not divisible by 5, which is why 1 goes straight into this first cell as a string. Okay. Now we jump to the next cell. The index here is 2. Now 2 doesn't meet any of these three conditions, which is why 2 as a string goes straight into this cell. Then we come to this cell. The index over here is 3. 3 is not divisible by both 3 and 5. But 3 is divisible by 3, which is why we insert the string fizz over here in this cell. That's the logic. This is how this array has been formed. Okay. Let's now move to write the program to solve the FizzBuzz problem in Java. I'm already in my project in my IntelliJ IDE. So I'm going to create a class now. I'm going to name this class FizzBuzz only. As you can see, the class has been created. Let me create the main function as well. So I'll type PSVM and there you go, main function created. The first thing that we are going to do is declare a variable n and initialize it to five as we have seen in the question. So it will be int, it's going to be an integer variable, n equals to five, okay? Now we will declare a list of strings rather than an array of strings because it will be more convenient for us to use when we know that the indexing has to start from one. All right. So it will be list string. We'll call it li equals to new array list. And it will be of type string. There you go. And I'm going to import the java.util package so that these red marks get sorted out. The list interface and the class array list are available in java.util package. Hence, we need to import this package first. Since we have to fill the elements of this list li with the respective values specified by the conditions involved, thus we'll have to use a for loop. So it will be for and it's going to start from one because the indexing starts from one and it is going to run all the way to the value specified in n which is five and it's going to increment in steps of one okay now the core logic involves writing an if else construct all right so we will write if and within brackets we will write the code to check the first condition 
the first condition is to check if i is divisible by both 3 and 5 so how we are going to check that it's simple we'll check if i when divided by the lcm of 3 and 5 which is 15 gives the remainder as 0 if it does then we add the string fizzbuzz as an item to our list li hence we are going to write i modulo operator 15 comparison operator 0 okay lcm of 5 and 3 is 15 so if this condition is satisfied then we are going to add to the list the string fizzbuzz okay the second condition will be to check if i is divisible by only 3. So we will write else if within brackets we will write if i when divided by 3 gives the remainder as 0. If it does then we add the string fizz as an item to the list. Okay. The third condition will be to check if i is divisible by only 5. So we will write else if within brackets we will write i modulo operator 5 comparison operator 0. Okay. So if i when divided by 5 gives the remainder as 0 then we add the string buzz as an item to the list li and lastly we'll write else and beneath it we'll simply add i to the list so it will be li dot add i okay now since i is an integer variable hence we'll have to first type cast it into a string and then add it to the list we will thus use two string method of the integer class to do the type casting so it will be integer dot to string and we put i within the brackets of to string method okay there is one final bracket missing over here let me put it the final thing that we are going to do is print this list li so it will be system dot out print ln and simply i'll write li within its brackets okay that's it the program is complete now we run it and test the output and there you go this is the output and this is exactly the same as we saw in the slide before and when i submitted this program on lead code it ran in just one millisecond and you can see that it is faster than 100% of the Java submissions made for this particular problem. So with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning this program from Joey Stick and I hope you coded this program along with me. I look so much forward to helping you with programming and algorithms. Do let me know in the comment section if you got any doubts and only for this video, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.